kuhusu interview ya, ya leo. So, Safi. So, I'm kind of having like an internal conflict because we were just um David has just told me that we're, you know, we're going to be able to interview the guys and we're super excited about that because hearing their stories and the retired poachers um but last week in a town 3 hours away from here, two men speaking out on behalf of anti-poaching were gunned down in the street. We want to keep these guys like safe too, but we want to hear the stories and they have agreed to be on camera because it's something that they feel strongly about and this you know, the um, transportation of bush meat and ivory should really shouldn't be happening here. But just so, you know, it, we all understand this is huge for them to really put themselves out there. I was going to take a wire, but I was going to take a wire and I was going to take a wire. I was going to take a wire and I was going to take a wire. I was going to take a wire and I was Nimetumia ujangida kutumia bunduki. Kutumia 58. Nimewinda kwa kutukua na gari, nikawa inaingia ndani ya hifadhi. Nimewinda. Nimekamata mpaka mgumu nikapelekwa nikakaa gerezani siku miezi sita niko pale. Lakini kwa sababu ya ya sheria zilivyo ile kesi nilishinda lakini nilipa masali makubwa sana. Siwezi tena kurudia nimekoma ujangili siwezi kurudia. Mimi ni kwa jangiri wa pole ni kwa natumia piki piki wawili tunabebana kwenye piki piki moja na mkuki mnafukuza nyumbu mnamchoma mnachoma na choma na yula liyebebo kile mpaka mwisho damu zinaisha lakini baada ya hapo nikaona uni upuzi kuharibu wanyama pole nimesha acha kabisa hayo mambo sasa hapo nakin kama ni umo hivyo tu hasara gani yani niko na ite huko na ite tuko faida ulei ni rimondo vita kini upi vita kini nande kulima duhu anande kulima duhu ndio ndio panika uwezo nuko na ngoro mkaya nuzenga nuko na nuko na kiwanja la mati nuzenga na hapa pale kwa pangi ndio bwana ito faida ni polu Ugu ugu nene ni hasa ni bora ugu kina fu nani nani kwa ugu yana bantu binge wakawasha tu hii ujangiri yeye hii ugu nene hano hano ugu jangiri nani kuto nani tenga na tenga nani pana 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 pangi hano jang hano nani jangiri nani nani taki nani pana kwa pangi wakawasha tu tu lekagi ila binge sana ba kita kina abagoya dewa na 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 karubuni ba na karibu sita paka na hapa ba ba kwa ugu jamuanza kujutwa mimi mo kwenye nuko. Hili swala tunalifahamu vizuri lakini na sisi tunajaribu kulikombati kwa kutumia kufanya doria mara kwa mara kwa maeneo yetu ambayo yanazunguka ndani ya paki kuhakikisha kwamba ujangili haufanyiki ndani ya paki lakini pia tunakuwa na watu ambao tunawaita wasiri kiasi ambacho kwamba tunaweza kupata taarifa hata kabla mtu hajaondoka au wakati ameshaondoka kwa hiyo tunafanikiwa kuwakamata kabla hoja hawajafanya lile tukio. Lakini kama unavyojua ndio hivyo kwamba kuna tatizo pia la m... watu wachache saa zingine kwa vitu kama hivyo unakuta saa zingine mnaweza msifanikiwe ile asilimia moja kama mnavyotarajia. Lakini kwa kiwango fulani tumezibiti sana. Ni kwamba matukio hayo yapo na mimi nishawahi kushuhudia tukio moja tumekuta wanyama wamenaswa kwenye waya tukawatoa lakini pia meno yameshakamatwa mara nyingi na majangili wamekamatwa wakiwa nayo. Kwa hiyo ni event ambazo zinatokea. Unakuta mzoga wa tembo, unakuta kabisa meno haya yametolewa aidha jana au siku nyuma mbili zilizopita. Kwa tayari unaonyesha kabisa huu jangili bado upo. Upande wa wanyama pori nisha kushuhudia wengi tu jana wamekamatwa kama tu wana nyama za za, za poli lakini kwa tembo sijawahi kuona kwamba tembo kawawa maneno yetu haya lakini wanyama wa kawaida waishawahi kuwa wengi tu na vijana wengi wamekamatwa 
kweli vijana wanabebeshwa wana mizigo ambayo sio ya kwao kweli wanabeba wanyama pori wameuawa hapo alafu hawajui kulingana kwa nani hasa ni mtu anapokuwa ameahidiwa tu kwamba anapewa pesa nyingi kwa mfano alikutoka kutoka hapa kwenda Ramadi mtu anapewa 10000 anapewa 20000 na yeye labda kutwa nzima hajapata adhiria anabeba bila kujua ndani kuna nini matokeo yake anakamatwa yeye na mzigo anamwangukia yeye labda ina kinachohitajika hapa ni elimu zaidi kwa maendeleo kwa bodaboda na kwa serikali na shauri maana kwa serikali na shauri ifanye tu ulinzi yake ulinzi malumu ili au akija kubainika kwamba ameingia mle wafanyie wamwekee sheria kali na pia watu wengine wazidi kuogopa najua mzee kwa hiyo maana yake ni kwamba kama watoto tutaweza kuwafundisha na wakawa na ule moyo wa uhifadhi tutasumbuana na huko baadaye tena kwamba hakutakuwa na majangili tena maana majangili wengi ni wale ambao wanatoka sehemu zile ambazo zinazunguka hifadhi wachache sana wanaotoka mbali huko wanakuja wanaingia kwenye hifadhi lakini wengi ni wale ambao wanakuta wanazunguka pembezoni mwa nini mwa hifadhi kwa hiyo kama tutaweza ku, kutengeneza hiki kizazi ambacho ni kidogo sasa hivi kikawa na ule moyo wa uhifadhi basi tutakuwa tumefanikiwa kwa kiwango kikubwa sana unaishauri nini serikali serikali na ishauri <coughs> ihamasishe kwa kusaidiana na sisi ili tuwalinde hao wanyama pori bora hitaji serikali hasa itutolee tu mwanga mzuri kutupa formula za kutusaidia kutupa zaidi sana elimu ya kutosha